What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to seal up these rear quarter panels on the Mark II Supra. So our last video, this is the current state of the fender arches and as you can see they're pretty clean. Um, the only big issue is down here and luckily the fender flare still covers this and this right here. Now this is not something we're going to be working on today. We're focusing on the arch itself. And as you can see, the holes for mounting, except this one, but it's still solid. And this one and this one are all good. I mean, they're there, they're in the right spot. There isn't a ton of rust. Now, something that could be done is cut this whole thing out and weld a new piece of metal in and drill the holes and seal it and, and do everything like that. Now, we saw how bad the other side was and God knows when that was done. They didn't use anything to properly seal the metal. They just crushed Bondo into it and obviously that's not gonna seal. So that was like that for years. I mean, who, who knows how long and we still have tons of metal before it starts to come above the fender flare. So if I use the proper sealing product to seal the metal that's still good and this car is not going to see any snow or salt which it did while that repair was done it's not going to rust out anytime soon so what i'm going to do is grind it down a little bit more to as much clean metal as humanly possible pour 15 it so it's sealed chemically let that dry and then fiberglass over the opening so water doesn't get in anywhere and then that way we can put the fender flares back on and it'll be sealed and with the plans on driving this car it'll probably outlive me so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing all sealed up. Alright, so this is the first layer of the Pore 15 put on the rear quarter panel. Now we're going to do two to maybe even three layers of this. So if it doesn't look like it's fully, fully covered, that's because if you lay it on too thick, it's going to run down and it won't cover regardless. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. It takes like six hours and I'm probably going to go grab something to eat and then I'm going to move on to the other side and do exactly what I did here. So no reason to film that one and there might be just like a time lapse and no talking so gonna go eat something then i'm gonna go work on the other side while this dries and then get as far as we can i just want this car to be back on the road <laughs> Alright, so it's the next day and I have two coats of Pore 15 completely dried on the arches of the quarter panel here. Now my next goal is to fiberglass this opening and make sure no water is getting up into these gaps or this, oh, this hole right here. Otherwise from here down is good and from the hole down is also good. So we need to pretty much fiberglass this area right here and that way no water is gonna get behind here. But this stuff came out really, really nice. Uh, Poor 15 is awesome. It's all really, really solid. So I'm not really worried about it. So let's go mix up some fiberglass. So as per usual with fiberglass, it is a very short work time and I set the camera up, I hit record, I did one section and that's the one I recorded, but luckily I can just show you once it's laid. So this is what we have right here, whenever it focuses. And as you can see, the cut is pretty okay. I mean, obviously I'm gonna have to like trim that up a little bit and this one especially. Now this huge gaping hole will have some reinforcement and this seam between these two pieces of metal are now sealed so nothing's gonna get in there and then when we come around 
to the driver's side. This one's a little messier, not gonna lie. For starters, we got this hole, which was still there, but just weak. So put a piece there. And then this one was just one big piece that got laid down. So it's sealing this big opening the big hole right there and then once it's dry i'll just take like a dremel or something and just cut this following the normal arch and then i might put a piece on the back side not sure but so far hey i mean it's gonna be sealed the pour 15 dried really nice and something i didn't mention that i did was i did sand down the pour 15 where the fiberglass is going to be laid because the pour 15 dries so smooth and slick you want something for the uh fiberglass to adhere to so it actually stays on there so i'm pretty sure fiberglass has about a two hour wait time so honestly in that time i'll probably just go edit the footage i have so far so when i come back down to update the dried fiberglass it will be completely done yeah let's just come back when the fiberglass is all dry all right so we cut a little bit of this fiberglass to match the body line a little better so now we're gonna take well first we're gonna sand the fiberglass down a little bit just to rough it up uh, grab some blue painters tape and seal off the actual paint and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take rubberized undercoating and kind of spray downward so I mean this is probably not entirely necessary but I don't want to make more work for myself later by like having to like wet sand or something so we're gonna tape it off then we're gonna sand it down and throw some undercoating on it So this stuff is sprayed and now we just wait for the undercoating to dry and then I'll probably do another coat. Pretty hyped with how that's looking overall in comparison to what it was looking like. So let's just give this stuff some time to dry. We'll come back and see what it looks like. All right, so the undercoating is pretty much dry. I wouldn't say it's 100% dry, but I am gonna pull the tape off, but it's looking pretty good if you ask me. So gonna go ahead and pull the tape off so we can get a look at it and just kind of admire some of the work that was done. I'm very, very happy that we're at this point. Wow, so that looks a lot better than it once did with the rust. I'll see if I can pull a screen grab and throw it up on the screen, but the only thing left to do is drill out that hole and then there's one over there, which are very easy to see from the inside. That is very, very good to see. So the rear quarters are pretty much complete. The only thing that I think is left to fix, I wouldn't even really consider it the rear quarter. There's tons of other stuff to fix, just the rear quarter related, is the gas cap area or gas door area right here. So gonna go ahead, since this stuff is gonna be on the outside and you can actually see it, and it won't just be covered by a fender flare, I'm gonna need to do this in a way where it can be cleaned up and look like paint. You know, it's gonna need painted. I have paint match stuff in a can, so I can do it myself, but I need the stuff under the paint to look very, very smooth or it's gonna look extremely out of place. That I think will be a whole video in itself because that's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of patience to make sure it looks good. But super, super pumped with how this came out because now we can, I don't know if I showed this in a video yet, but I have brand new trim for the fender flares. So when the fender flares go back on, it won't have the crusty rubber that was on there that is super hard and cracks and doesn't actually sit really well in the fender flares. So that'll look 10 times better and we won't have to worry about that. And then the fender flares can go on, the fenders can go on and the front end can put, be put back together and we can work on the gas cap area. And yeah, we're making some pretty solid progress. I'm very, very happy where we are, but overall, we are done with the rear quarters and thank you so much for watching and if you do like the super content please consider subscribing it means the absolute world to me thank you guys so much for watching and as always have an awesome day